What is up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels back with another Supercar Sunday. Today we have five supercars in front of us, all from, well actually, we have a Matchbox visitor today. Um, four from Hot Wheels, one from Matchbox, um, two premium, boom boom, and then three main lines. But uh, we'll go ahead and start with the Matchbox first. Boom, this is the 1980 Porsche 911 Turbo. Um, I know this car might not seem like a supercar, but back when this came out, the Porsche 930 like era, um, these cars were like some of the fastest in the world. Um, they, for 1980 especially, fun fact about this car, um, at, that, at that time, um, the engine size had been pumped up to 3.3 liters and it was making right around 300 horsepower, which in the 1980 was insane. Um, it actually, the admission emissions in the United States and Japan wouldn't allow this car to be sold, so it actually wasn't even sold in the United States, um, the turbo version in 1980. So this would have been like a German Euro um, variant that we didn't get here. Um, really cool car. I mean, this went zero to 60 in like five seconds and it had a top speed of around like 165, I think, um, which was pretty incredible back then. I mean, even now those are pretty impressive numbers, but compared to like a Wyra or ZR1, it, it's kind of slow. But back in the day, this thing was a spectacular car. So this is Matchbox, like premium 50th anniversary, super fast version. It has moving parts. The doors open, which I love because moving parts are awesome. Um, I wish every car had moving parts. Very cool. And we'll put this, like, you know how we do it. We, we'll put them all on the turntable at the end and take a better look at them. But real riders, this is just, this is a nice car. Love that, like, dark purple blue color, too. So, boom. The next one is one I really, really like. In real life, this is one of my favorite, like, hyper super ultra cars whatever you want to call them this is the Aston Martin Vulcan and this is actually the red edition from Target um and I thought this color on this car like when I saw it I'm like this I'm so happy I found it because I, I haven't had the best luck finding the red cars I, I find them occasionally but it's usually like one of the weirder ones that like people pass up but I thought this the Vulcan in red was amazing so actually like look at that congratulations Cool, so um, if you don't know a lot about the Vulcan, I'm gonna try to include facts when I do these Supercar Saturdays just to make them like, to show how awesome some of these cars are. Um, but the Aston Martin Vulcan, these were made from 2015 to 2016. They only made 24 of them. Um, they are not street legal. They're basically like Aston Martin's version of the Ferrari, like the FXX, X. X, X, X. Um, where you could only drive the car on the track at like sanctioned track days, but the difference is that Aston Martin lets the customers take the cars home, where the FXX, you could not. They like kept them at like a track or Ferrari or whatever. Um, if you've seen the Top Gear episode with this car, I mean, this thing is an absolute monster. The only reason it exists is to just shred ta track times. Like, there's no reason Aston Martin actually made this other than just to be badass. Like, this car is spectacular. And in this red, oh my gosh, it looks awesome. The black wheels, like, I don't, eh, I'm not a huge fan of the silver, but like, it does split up the body nicely. Um, I mean, this thing is killer. Killer, killer. 7 liter V12. It's like 820 horsepower. Costs like $2.3 million brand new very very badass like oh my gosh so cool i'm excited to put that one on the turntable so yeah oh porsche box um the next one is the jaguar xe sv project 8. i really like this version because it's in green just like a proper um british like supercar should be i feel like that's like ferrari should be red british like aston martin jaguar all those should be green and this one oh man look how killer that looks with the black wheels this is a really nice casting um really cool car in real life this i i don't know i don't remember i should have looked it up but i don't know what the price of the xj220 was but the um is this project eight is that what i said yeah project eight um these are hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars they have 592 horsepower five liter supercharged they go 200, or that's what Jaguar says, they go 200. Um, they made around 300 of them, so they're pretty rare. This isn't something you're probably gonna see at every Cars and Coffee. Um, 
but I hope to see one one day. I don't. I think this is one of the other cars I haven't seen in real life. Uh, they had a Vulcan in Cleveland for a while, but I was not able to see it. But that's one of the cars I'd like to see in real life too. But this thing is pretty killer. Looks great in that metallic green. So looking forward to putting that on the turntable as well. Boom. I love this next one. I like hoard these. Um, this is the 2019 Chevrolet ZR1 convertible in its premier color, new model for 2020. And this like, I think it's called Sebring Orange. I might've messed that up, but I'll have to put the correct title on the video. Bing, correct, correct paint title. Um, but it is ugh, such a good looking car. Now this is the convertible. I'm not a huge fan of convertibles, but just the way they've done this casting, the black wheels, the black chassis, the windows just, uh, I think this is just an excellent looking car. In real life, I love these things. Um, they're monsters. I mean, these things cost $125,000. So that's, I mean, that's less than the price of the Jaguar. It's, it's way less than the Vulcan. 755 horsepower, 6.2 liter LT5, 200 mile an hour convertible. Could you imagine being in this and going 200 with the top down? Oh my gosh, it would blow your mind. I mean, the coolest thing about these is they still come in, in a, like an old school manual transmission. So I believe they are seven speed manuals, but you can still get it with a clutch pedal. Like how awesome is that? Very cool car. So the very last one, ooh, and I think I'm gonna say this right. This is like the only car I think I know how to say right, the Pagani Waira. So it, it's spelled, it's not spelled like that. It's a, one of those weird pronunciations, but this is one of the newer Hot Wheels Premium Lines 2020. It is in the Gumball 3000 livery. Just a really nice looking casting, and it has those new wheels. I'll have to look up what those wheels are being called. I don't know what they're being referred to, but they look awesome. Like I'm really liking all the new premium wheels that Hot Wheels come out. Like these, the five spoke, um, what are the other ones? I can't even remember what the other ones are. There's just a ton of really nice wheels that have come out this year from Hot Wheels. So this is a sign of good things to come from Hot Wheels. So, ooh, look at that beast. Very nice. Love the color. So this thing is probably one of the fastest Hot Wheels in real life. Um, these go, what, like 240 mile an hour. I know they're powered by a twin turbo AMG. Um, I think they're B12. Just a monster of a car. Like I've watched videos of these on YouTube, like doing runs on the Autobahn or on the freeway. And they just like the, uh, uh, like, how the speedometer climbs like like a normal car it's like like even this car like 180 is like this i mean it is moving these things fly very cool and it looks awesome with those wheels really nice paint like this is what a premium should look like nice paint all around metal chassis really nice real rider so boom all right let's put each of these on the uh turntable real quick and take a look at them I also fixed my turntable so it shouldn't be as loud now. Okay. Okay, normal movement. Okay. So what was the first one? Oh, the Porsche. So I'm going to open the doors on the one side so you can see it. So this is a plastic chassis. This is not a full premium. Um, this is like their moving parts line. So it is metal body, real riders. It has like the lace looking like old school like BBS real riders. Um, tampos all around. Uh, moving parts, plastic chassis, like I said. Um, still, these are a great buy. I think they're like three or four dollars. Like they're not to the five dollar. They're not to like the Hot Wheels premium mark. Um, so they're a little cheaper if you're looking to get something like real riders, really nice paint, moving parts for cheaper. This is definitely the line to get them in. Um, Matchbox has a couple cars like this, and they keep coming out with more. Um, so keep an eye on this line because I'm hopefully they'll do a couple more like newer and older supercars like this and we can feature some more but if not i'm gonna still buy them like their crown vic is really nice too i'm gonna do an unboxing of that pretty soon so and they didn't show the box as much earlier so boom the box is really nice art on it so that is a killer looking 911. my uncle had one of these um he had an i think he had an 86 or 87 I can't remember it was a white and you know it had like the big wheel tail had the black scoops and stuff turbo car 
it was that was the first car I ever went. I think it was the first car I ever went over 100 in. We did like 140 down this road in Iowa where he lived. Just a monster car. It just seemed like it would pull forever. So very, very cool car. The Vulcan in that beautiful red color. Like seriously, look how awesome that red color is. The green, like I said, British cars in green, I love. Um, so I like the very first edition of this because it came out in green and then I believe it came out in white. Uh, I really like the green version and this version. I think this like pearl red really fits the car. I'm going to try to spin it to make sure it looks good. Um, really like it. I like, I think this, the wheels have been same on every release. Um, but the red color on this car is just amazing on the body. And then another fun fact about this one is that, like I was talking about earlier, these are all track cars. But a company in the UK, and I can't remember what they're called. It might have been AMR. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but they turned one customer's Vulcan into a street legal car. So they, um, like, they did things like gear ratios and rear end and transmission. Um, they remapped the motor. They put, I think they put DB11 mirrors on it or DBS mirrors. Um, they did all kinds of changes like put headlights, turn signals. They raised it. They put a different rear bumper on the, so you can put a number plate on it. Like they put all kinds of different things on this Vulcan um, to make it street legal. Like could you imagine driving this Vulcan to the store like to Kroger's or Walmart to do like your Hot Wheel hunting in? Oh my gosh. Like talk about a dream drive like this thing that would be so sick you know i don't think it has a trunk so you wouldn't be able to like buy any or snack a snatch a hot wheels display or anything from the store so but it would totally be worth it for the drive man look at that love that thing okay next one is the jag and this is um i think this is like the oh man probably like the fifth recolor like there's been quite a few of these um i really like this car the casting looks nice i think the wheels they chose to put on it are pretty nice too. Um, it's a basic casting, but it has tampos front and back, which I really appreciate. Oh, it's rolling, it's rolling, it wants to run. Um, I have the, I think my favorite one, even though the green looks amazing, the blue, uh, what was it, GameStop exclusive, I think it was, that that looks really good in blue too, but it's hard to beat the original, the OG green, um, like British green. Oh, man, that looks so good. It looks so mean in the front. The black over the green just looks, it makes it look even more meaner. Looks like James Bondish. Very cool. Okay, next one is the ZR1. The lone American today. Look at that beast. Looks great in orange. Uh, the recolor just came out in like a dark navy, and then it has like the faster than ever style five spoke wheels on it so it does have different wheels different paint job but to me you can't beat the orange like this orange color just pops so much on it and I, in real life i don't know if you've ever seen one of these zr1s in this color in real life like you cannot miss them they are so bright and it just looks so fast like it looks like a supercar even though it's like i don't know if some people would consider a corvette a supercar but this thing is a supercar killer Anything that goes 200 to me is a supercar. Very cool. I like that one. And last, but definitely not least, is the Wyro. So this one is in the Gumball 3000 uh, livery, which if you're not familiar with it, definitely Google the Gumball 3000 on YouTube um, or look it up in general. It's a 3000 mile, like, I don't, it's not charity, but it's like a celebrity uh, rally. Like, I've, Lewis Hamilton has been on it. I know, like, the Mischief series. Shout out to the Mischief series. They they were the ones that introduced it, me to that brand, like, years and years ago. Um, but it's it's just, it's outrageous to watch the gumball cars. Um, they all have these stickers on them. They're going, like, insane speeds down the freeway together. Just Lamborghinis, Paganis, McLarens, everything. It's, it's. It's cool. You Google it. Google it. Google it now. Like, stop watching this video and go Google it because it's worth it. Just kidding. Don't. Stop. Like and subscribe first. All that good stuff. So, boom. All right. I'm going to put all these on here. Whoop. Take another look at them. And then in the comments, let me know which one is your favorite. If I had to pick a single favorite from this line, from this, like, five car setup, oh, man. It'd be tough. I don't know. 
Um, I mean, I honestly like the Vulcan. It would either be the Vulcan or the Corvette. I like both of those the best, I think. Oh, er, redo. Okay. I think I fixed it. My table was a little wiggly. It might happen again, but um, yeah. So definitely let me know which ones you like in the com below in the comments. Which one is your least favorite? Which one is your most favorite, and why? And if there's any um, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, whatever brand supercar that you'd like to see, I can see if I have it or see if I can hunt it down and do an unboxing of it. But, man, this was a pretty solid lineup. These are all winners. They're really nice cars, all excellent cars in real life. So, boom. Sweet. Look at all that horsepower sitting there. That's rad. So, okay. Well, this has been Sam, 64 Wheels. Follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff. Like and subscribe. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I can, it's like within reach. Hopefully by the end of the month, I'll be able to get there. So I really appreciate you watching again. Um, I do this for, for other fans and hope, you know, meet new people on YouTube. And it's been really fun chatting with people in the comments and stuff. So I look forward to hearing your opinion on all these cars. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks.